you're welcome to my channel mindset academy where we want to reproduce the given figure that is displayed at the left hand side of the screen in isometric projection so the first thing you have to do when you hear the word isometric projection is for you to draw your isometric axis that is you draw your y axis as in the vertical line this way then you draw the horizontal line this way for the inclined line and the z axis also this way can you see that now the entire length here is given to be 100 and what given to be 119 and the question is how did i get 119 if you add 45 plus 59 plus 15 here you'll be having 119 i'm going to take my instrument and i'm going to measure 119 from this point 110 and this is 119 here hope you can see that i'll just take it up in this fashion now the next one is the height is given to be 57 how did i come about that if you add 19 that is standing and 38 that is standing that is what 50 what 57 so i'm going to measure 57 vertically from this same point here from 0 to what 57 56 57 here and the width is given to be 59 as you can see so I'm going to measure 59 0 to 59 then I will take it up also can you see that now what I did here I did at this point too click on the instrument and you stand it up and you have this you turn it this way and you have this and you come here also you have this and you close it up can you see that we brought out the ship now the next thing we'll do is you will see that from here to here in the diagram which is from here to here is ticking so i'm going to tick in this aspect here let's move straight to the point and also the next thing is the height is given to be 19 so i'm going to measure 19 upward so from here, I measure 19 upward from 0 to 19. This is 10, this is 19 here. Alright, so I should just taking it ahead from this point. Right, and I'll close it up this way as shown in diagram and also close it up this way and you see that then it's going in by how many it's going in by 15 so I'll go in this way a little bit and I'll come here also I'll go in a little bit then I'll measure 15 so from zero 
I'll measure 15. So I'm going to thicken it, it's closed there. Then I'll bring the other one in also this way. Like this. And I'm going to close it up too. Can you see that? Then the next thing is from the beginning to the ending of this line, which is from here to here, it is thickened. So I'm going to thicken it. Can you see that? And I'll take it up at the end here by what? 41.5. This from here. From 0 to is 40, 41.5, somewhere around here. Right? And I'll thicken it. Hope you can see that. Then I'm going to take it in. This way. Hope you can see that. Now we'll continue moving. From this point here, which is this point my is pointing, I'm going to measure 59. So let me just take it up this way. And I'll measure 59. From 0 to 59. Which I am going to take in. Right, from zero, let's do that again to fifty nine. This is where fifty nine is. Right, and I'm going to drive it up from this point straight up to touch the highest point here. I you see that. And what will I do? I will now measure 22 millimeter away from that point. So from here, from zero, I will measure 22 this time, 20 to 22 here. And I will thicken it. Right? And I will bring it down. Then I am going to close it up. Right, then I'll take this from this point to go in this way to touch the other point here. Right, and I'm going to take this this way and I'll measure the same distance I measured from here to here, which is 59. I'll come here to, I'm going to mark here. That is where I am going to take in what I want to take in. This way. Can you see that? And I will take it in. Hope you can see that. Then the next one is coming up to touch here. So I will take care of this way. And it is ticking. Right, and I'm going to drive it in a little bit as you can see by a distance of 25 to measure 25 from this point, which is the point my circle is showing you. So, measure 25, this 25 here, and I cannot stick in it. Can you see that? Then, if I should drive this in this way. A little bit faint so this will be touching this part here hope you can see that then here also will be closed are we there and here also will be closed at this point to so down now the next thing is just to draw your line that will touch here then from here also that will touch here 
are we together so this is what we have produced this is the figure you can see at the left hand side of the screen which is drawn in what in isometric projection so the most important thing is for you to start doing your work you're dimensioning